If y'all want to know what trucking and cruise ship life is like, stay tuned. I'll be right back. What's up, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the Trex Trucker channel. If you have already been here, subscribe. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. Anyway, what is it like when you have to deal with the cruise ships in the morning with a tanker? Well, you get up, you gotta get there early. Um, usually it's a rat race to get there, to get onto the docks and everything. Like today, we are actually in Port Everglades. Depend on which pier you're at. It can kind of depend on when you need to get there. Um, same thing at Miami. If you're going to a pier A in Miami, you know he's never going to let you on the dock before eight o'clock. No sense in rushing. You're not getting on that dock before eight. Here in Everglades, sometimes it's seven, a little bit before seven. Other piers in Miami, sometimes you can get on there at like 6.30. It all just depends. But sometimes, like here, we're at the terminal before five o'clock this morning. We're here, we're here at the pier. We're here, I'm looking right at the ship. Of course, I cannot show you. They told me that I'm not allowed to show any cruise ships anymore. So, can't show you, but I'm here in line with, already there's one, two, three, one, two, three, I'm number four, five, six. There are already six trucks in line here right now. Now, Caustic is always first. Caustic is always the first thing that gets unloaded into a cruise ship. It's acid. We're unloading under pressure. We're the only ones here that's unloading under pressure like this. So, and being acid, they want us on and off first before everything really gets ramped up and hardcore. They want to try to get us out of here. Um, which is a good thing but now sometimes you've got depending on which pier you're at sometimes the transmontane guys they want to set up their oil rig and they'll put their high reach directly in front of us which just happened to me this past weekend at pier 25 they put their high reach directly in front of where i need to back into so my hose is barely stretched out longer, and they don't want us unloading under pressure with acid with more than 60 feet of hose I barely freaking reach. Now, ship runs this way. Pier runs this way. They could have parked their high reach, like the edge of the pier now, like this. Instead, they parked it out at an angle like this. So, instead of it being like this, it's like this. So, I had to back all the way out here and barely reach. Now, no reason why they couldn't have put it here. They could have put their high reach up here instead of right here by the door. And I could have backed in a little bit better been closer to it instead of just barely being able to reach now if we had two trucks they just looked at me sitting there and saw it just sitting there looking at me wouldn't move it they know we're always first they know they know they know no matter how hard they try caustic is always first which is why we try to get here first get everything set and hurry up and, and get done I'm one of the ones I want to hurry up and get off that dock because the longer I'm on the dock, the longer it's going to take them because they all have to wait on us. Which I really don't understand their logic of why they put things in our way, knowing that by slowing us up, they're actually holding themselves up. They're actually holding themselves up because they can't do anything until after we get done. So why put stuff in our way and make it harder for us and knowing it's going to take us longer to maneuver and get around when it's just holding them up? even longer I, I've never understood that concept but now we got some cool ones absolutely awesome cool as can be they put the stuff down they put it out of the way they run their lines and push it up so it's not our way when because they know we're always coming they know we're always coming they were always first real easy to work with shout out to you brother I gave him some stickers this past weekend or maybe the weekend before last I think weekend before last I gave him some stickers for the channel um because he described me as a watcher and i appreciate him watching appreciate him giving me some some love and you know telling his fellow people to watch but for the ones that are always in our way i don't understand what why they put the high reach in the way all the time knowing that 
it's just slowing us up and making it harder for us. Like I say, if I had two, two truckloads that day and it wasn't just me, I would have had to have raised Kane and said, no, you're, you're, you've got to move it. I would have had to get with the ship. Ship, you need to tell them, get out the way. The ship has done that before. The ship has actually got on to people because they know we're first. They're trying to put their stuff in the ship's like, no, get it out the way. They're first. I don't know why they don't want to just work with us. Some guys work good. But we always try to work with everybody, which is why over in Miami all the time, I try to go ahead and get there early enough, especially if you're unloading on like Pier G, to come in from one, one gate and come another way. Because certain ships, they, cert they face certain ways. Well, where we unload at, where their door is, if you come in from one direction, we have to use truck air, which means we rev our motors. Loud noises. If you come in from one direction of the pier, from one end gate instead of the other gate, of all the other end of the pier, then your truck is right up there against where their crews come off the boat. They don't like that. Because then they can't hear the crew people come off the board because they have to check all their credentials and everything else. Security has to check them out. And if they're listening to that big motor revved up, you know, 1500 RPMs unloaded, then they can't really hear them. So they like us to come in from the other gate and drive all the way down to pier because that one's like, you come in at BC gate and you're all the way down at G. So, you know, C, D, E, F, G. So you're going a long way down to pier, but you're out of their way. So you always try to come in and, and work with the people. Say, like, okay, I'll start coming in that way. I know you're always at this position here. You're always facing that way. So I'll start coming in from that way here, going that way. That way we're out of your way and everything's cool. So that's the way it should be. Everybody should try to work together because if you're working together, it just makes it smoothly for everybody. So that's my suggestion to y'all. Anybody that's doing you know cruise ships, it's best to go ahead and just do the right thing. We've got Broward County coming up. Sometimes they come and they do a which I never understood why they want our driver's license, our you know, our badge and all that mess, and get our tag number, our company, all that. I don't understand because they get all that right here when we check in the gate, and literally, you know, I'm one truck length away from the gate, so they get the same information that Broward County gets. But they do it every now and then. Anyway, y'all, I guess I'm gonna go. This is a little bit of cruise life. You get here, you be courteous. Try to work with everybody. Like I try to work at the fort list. If I see them running behind me i try to slow give them time to go ahead and get around me and then i i continue backing up which they see me us backing up they see all my lights blinking blink 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 they see my spotlights blink 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 so they know i'm backing but still i blow train horns but still if i see them come i know they've got a job to do just like i do so i see them come i try to stop at a point to where they can kind of get around me and go and then i'll continue on work together y'all we're all trying to do a job. We're all trying to get get home at the end of the day, get home safely. So work together. You show your fellow fellow man some love, y'all. Don't be a don't be a, a PRIC. We'll leave it at that. Work together. Make life easy for everybody. Everybody's got a job, dude. No sense in butting heads, especially if you know the procedure. You know who's doing what, who's doing what when work together y'all anyway we'll see y'all next video hope everybody has a good safe blessed weekend we will see y'all later peace out even when you feel low you can still go even when you feel slow you can still go even when there's no hope you can still go i never ran to the no man i still go go go